Greg Kirby with the band The Luck of Eden Hall. All right, so this is a 1964 amp, I think I was told. Um, Fender Showman amp. Uh, the first amp I ever bought, and it was just a, happened to be the reason my first band, the guy got his teenage girlfriend pregnant and had to sell his amplifier. And it happened to be a dual Showman amp, so I bought it from him. I said, oh, I can give you some money, I'm going to buy it, you know. Bought his amplifier. Uh, I, I really liked that amplifier, uh, but I hadn't ever played through a Marshall or anything at that point, so I... Um, when I moved to Chicago, uh, I wanted to get another amp so that I would have two amps that were the same. Why not stack them up? You know, run. it's a beautiful amplifier. I've got the covers for it, the, the vintage tweed covers with the felt inside, and you can tilt it back. It has legs on it here so that you can tilt it back. So they don't even have to lift it up and put it on something or the sound's blasting across your kneecaps. It's a very good amp for clean. Um, you, it doesn't have any overdrive. Um, you have to use a pedal or something if you want overdrive. Um, but it has a wonderful clean sound. It's got two 15-inch speakers in it so you can get really nice clean lows. It's very heavy. When the Luck of Eden Hall uh, was playing gigs, uh, regularly. I had a Marshall half stack and I had this. I had them side by side and I ran, uh, I guess you could say stereo, but really I just went for two uh, sounds to thicken it up. Always had a lot of compliments on my sound. In recording um, this last, the album, well, the last few albums that we've done, not in a good old tube studio, you know, vintage studio with tape and all those wonderful things that uh, don't matter anymore, um, but doing it on the on the computer, um, the amplitude, the Jimi Hendrix amplitude. Uh, there's a, a lot of good sounds that you can get without having to go through an amplifier. Um, I did, for fun, hook up to this and then hook up to the the Fender uh, replica that they have in, as, as in part of that program, and they're not quite the same. You know, it's not quite the same. But still, a sound is a sound, and, and you have to use your ears when you're creating that sound, when you're, when you're modeling that sound. So you can model it through the amplifier, you can model it through uh, the computer, uh, however you do it, you, you can find a good sound. The thing that it's good for having an amp when you're recording is, uh, that I find is uh, you can get feedback. <laughs> you can't do that when you're, when you're recording in through the computer, at least you can, but it's not the same. Now, I don't think I'm going to take it out of the house because I've kept it in good shape for such a long time and it's worth too much money and I would feel horrible at this point if it, you know, I want to give it to my daughter when, she, when she's old enough to have a rock band. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah, it probably won't leave my basement now because uh, I bought the new little orange amplifier. <laughs>